Monica graduated from a famous university major in finance. She hopes to learn and grow up as a partner in the consulting firm. For this job, she learns a lot of relative knowledge about consulting and marketing analysts. She also practices a lot of cases every week, and right now she gets an offer from a consulting firm in USA. She worked very hard every day because of her dream, and she was constantly praised by her leader and colleagues. However, after some time of working and communication, she realized she and her male colleagues were doing the same job, but her male colleague was given more opportunity and higher salary. It was obvious that her daily performance was always A, but the leader promoted the male colleague, who performance always B. I got all A's in performance these few times, and I'm sure that I can be promoted to be the captain of the team. Attention, please. Because of Jack's excellent performance during this period, he will become your new team leader, and I hope he can continue to make contributions to our group and the company. I raised my concerns with my colleague Nico during my lunch break, and she also felt that the boss decision was unfair. Most employees in the office think that I am more able to be promoted by the boss. Jessica raises her doubt to the leader and suspects it is sexism, but the leader thinks what he is doing is absolutely fair. I have a question, sir. I got always in my performance, but Jack finally be the leader. He is male. He is thinking more rational and better for our team. If the promotion of our group is determined by gender, this is absolutely sexist. I'm not being sexist. I'm just thinking about team. Well, I have other work you should leave. Jessica discusses with more colleagues who have been trained unfairly, but the colleagues seem to think that this cannot be changed. Jessica went home and revealed the issue of sex during the workplace, and she was concerned that it was a common problem. She wanted to speak out about the issue, but she felt scared, since she was afraid to confront her leaders due to their power. She ultimately chose to end all. Jessica gets a call from her best friend, who is crying and complaining about her current. She was crying and complaining about her current job and the unfair treatment of women in the workplace. She is now under too much stress and suffering from severe depression. I feel heartbroken like never before. Not only for my best friend, but this kind of workplace discrimination makes me lose hope for the future and my dreams. Jessica thinks of her best friend. Who used to be confident and happy in university, and now her friend looks like a different person. Jessica hopes to save her friend and herself. She is overwhelmed with emotions and determined to uncover the unspoken rules of the workplace for herself and her best friend. Hi guys, I see there are lots of ladies today. And I want to do a quick survey. How many of you guys feel unfair in the workplace? Jessica decides to hold a women's workplace anti-discrimination presentation and invite others to attend. This causes many people who had previously chosen to remain silent to come forward and speak publicly about their experience. This event has made a huge impact on the internet and in real life. After Jessica's speech, the government joined forces with women's federations and unions to hold press conferences and launch politics to achieve equality in the workplace. Jessica returns to her place of work, where the leader is leaving the company with his belongings. Because he was fired for his previous sexism, the leader apologized for his previous workforce discrimination and said he would reflect on it. Finally, when Jessica walked into the office, everyone applauded for her.